Hey guys, welcome back. And we're doing the Q&A video for 500 subscribers, though we've probably hit 600 by now. So it's good to see you guys are enjoying the content. I um, apologize for not doing much over the Christmas period. I've been working on replacing a few things and um, yeah, it's been pretty awesome. Um, I, I won't go over Christmas and stuff because I'm sure you guys all had a fantastic time and I hope you guys did and I hope you guys have a happy new year. Um, so we'll be going through the comments. So uh, Kiwi Flying Kiwi Gaming says congrats, thanks dude. Um, moving on, um, first question from Benny Boy Five Two Nine is, how did you become the Lord of the Cacti? Brackets, why do you like it so much? So how did I become the Lord of the Cacti? Um, obviously I uh, slayed uh, loads of cacti. Yeah. Now the actual origin was um. A friend uh, um, developed the idea and I started using cacti more and more and it sort of became into a thing but my skin was designed around it. Um, and why do I like it so much? Because uh, cacti are awesome obviously and my uh, skin is a Santa cacti at the minute um, because I need to change it from Christmas. Um, um, moving on, um, HP Girl says, congrats on 500 subs, as for a question, would you rather have $10,000 or 10,000 cacti, also why cacti, the cacti was answered in the previous question, and um, would I have rather have $10,000 or 10,000 cacti, that is debatable, because with all the cacti, I could feed everyone in the world with cacti juice, though with $10,000, I could make a difference in the world with clarity and stuff, um, because uh, helping out other people and curing diseases is quite a true fundamental of funding in the world. Um, as long as the, they're not funding the workers too much. Yeah. Um, uh, so next question is uh, from Stephanie. Well, it's a comment plus a question. Um, congrats, keep doing your videos. Life is complicated and we appreciate the taking the time to upload them. They are funny, interesting, and so keep making them whenever you get a chance. Content, Hunger Games, and question, what, when you were little, what was your dream job, and what's your dream job now? Um, so it was a bit different. When I was um, four or five, my dream job was to be a teacher, because um, I just thought it was a pretty cool job being able to teach people. I always liked uh, the idea, um, which is very interesting. Also, thank you, Stephanie, for the... Uh, for the suggestion of uh, survival games, I did actually take that up, and you can go watch uh, survival games episode one. And I'm not sure if I'll do another one. Um, I know that it has been quite a lot of positive feedback on that. But um, going back to the question, when you were little, what was your dream job? Well, that was a teacher. And what's it now? Um, um, I I prefer not talking about what I do in my free time because um, it's deadly boring for people who uh, don't understand all the complicated words. Um. But um, I want to be a programmer, someone who writes computer software, um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm developing into that. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm 17, I attend school, and at school I, um, I do uh, IT, electronics, and maths, which compensate for computer science and stuff at uni. And I, I don't want to go to uni and uh, become a programmer. Um, so that answers that one. So it changed from being a teacher into a software developer. Um, so the next one is from Jay Thatcher. Would you turn into green cacti dye if I cooked you? Just asking, nothing else. Of course nothing else. Um, I'm not sure. I, I haven't personally been cooked in the past. Though I think I would look like a frothy gloop of uh, perhaps green cacti dye. Yeah. Um, thank you for the good question. Very valuable and definitely for experimentation purposes only, yeah. Um, so the next question is from Chloe. He said a few other things which, uh, uh, which, uh, can confirm I am doing A-levels. Um, further on, uh, she asked, how are you today? I am doing magical today. I'm really happy to be, uh, sitting down and recording a Q&A video for my channel. Um, um, so thank you for all the comments and contributions, Chloe. 
Um, moving on to the next comment from a uh, cheeky cat who said, maybe you could do a stream on Valiant MC. Could do SQ with your fans or on the server. Now, the first problem is Valiant might be redoing the arcade at the minute. Wink, wink. Um, and the second thing is, um, I've never explained this fully, but my internet is a, uh, it's not terrible, but it takes me a couple hours to upload videos and I don't actually have the internet possible for decent live streaming. Though, um, if I, if I could, I might consider doing something with people in the future, some sort of mini games or something, uh, to get everyone involved. Um, and I'm always looking for collaborations to do. Um, so the, uh, I've got another comment here from Edward Vickery, also known as Hotcock23 on Valiant MC, I believe. Um, um, and he's just saying uh, he was surprised that I'd upload again because I'm I'm trying to phase into the work of uploading more. And uh, yeah, hopefully a new year, new resolution, yeah? Um, so Awesome Alex asks, uh, uh, can I please answer these? What came first, the internet or the interwebs? Well, actually, spiders were right first, and they do make intertwined webs. So I'd have to say the interwebs. Um, who or what motivated you to do YouTube? Um, originally, my YouTube channel um, started out as a... Uh, it developed from a... It developed from me doing programming... Um, and that essentially, I wanted to teach other people, so it sort of linked with the teacher dream job. Um, but that then developed into me doing YouTube videos and me enjoying, and I sort of wanted the challenge of editing them, because I do put quite a bit of work into editing my videos, and I'm working on getting better, because I'm not the most professional editor in the world. Um, any tips for aspiring YouTubers? If you want to be good at YouTube, um, there are a few things you've got to depend on. Uh, do videos with your friends. Because it means more people will watch it in the end. Because friends are friends and stuff like that. And um, keep yourself inspired. Don't, don't lose hope. Just because you only have one subscriber doesn't mean you shouldn't do videos. Because you build your audience around your content. Um, next of all... Uh, What's your favourite animal? Um, I'm uh, kind of liking polar bears at the minute. They're quite cool. Um, might not be my favourite. I mean, if cacti was an animal. Quite possible. Um, and then he's just saying sorry about all the questions. I'm fine with all these. Um, uh, we got another comment saying congrats from Little Dogs. Awesome dude. Um... And we've got a, finally a comment from Magma Male. Would you rather fight one Magma Male sized duck or 50 duck sized Magma Males? It really does depend how big a Magma Male is because if it's a Magma Cube, then uh, it might be quite big. Um, now that I think about it. Um, so, it's debatable what the answer to that one could be. I think I would just have to fight one magma male sized duck. I mean there'd be quite a lot of kicking if it was in Minecraft. And a few feathers. However it could stamp on me and crush me. However I think it would get priggled by the cacti thorns. Yeah. So yeah that is all the questions. I love them all. If you have any more questions. If I get like a significant amount. I'll do another video. Um, with them all in. And if you guys have any more, like, interesting questions, which take time to explain, like the uh, Dream Lib one, um, then you can put them and you can leave suggestions below on more series and stuff you'd like to see. Um, so yeah, it's been an amazing year to see such growth, and I'll see you guys in the next video.